Good morning, everybody. Uh, something I just wanted to do this morning real quick is let you guys know that I am back on a body of water that I've come to, I don't know, like, this is like the fifth time I've come here. Um, I don't know if you guys been following along closely. If you haven't been, hit the like, comment below, and subscribe. Make sure you got that little bell turned on so you get notified every time I upload a video. Um, but yeah, if you've been following along, I've been to this lake at least four times this season, um, mainly because we got cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold, and it's one of those lakes that usually freezes last. So what happened was is the, the biggest thing here is this lake's got like a really deep valley to it and it's a river flowage. So keep your fingers crossed for me that it's actually got enough ice that I can walk around on it. Um, it's got some pretty entertaining fish in it, so keep your fingers crossed if I can get out there, I can find those fish. Okay, so I made it out here. Looks like there's about four to five, maybe six inches of ice um, in most spots. It's not the best ice in the world, but should be fine for walking around today. Looks like a lot of these schools are out deep. Good thing is, is most people hate these fish, so we'll see if I catch anything that's not what I'm after. I'll probably have to move around a little bit. But keep your fingers crossed. We get into some monsters. And this is a quick day. <laughs> I would like to get some sleep tonight. That's something. can't see my bait down there so I'm literally fishing blind there's one <laughs> Like I said most people don't like these things so it doesn't matter that I'm fishing for them deep and there's a lot of them in this lake and I just smoked the rest of them uh, if you guys haven't seen that video, um, go check out the DDRS Cooks Everything channel. I got it linked in my description and stuff, but these guys are really good smoked, so I'm going to keep this one. Got another one. Oh, this one feels bigger. By the way, I'm using my commander here. <laughs> Where are you? Ooh. There we go. That's why I'm here. Because this place has big yellow bass. <laughs> I'd much rather keep a bunch of these guys. Okay. Let's see how many of those guys we can get in such a sh in a short period of time. I'd like to get a bunch of those bigger ones. Well, here comes something.
got them. Just took a little competition. school of them coming again. <clears throat> Seems that you would need a couple of them together to get them to bite. Fish on. <laughs> this is one of those big schools. <clears throat> See if I can keep them around. Right now is where a jigging ramp would come in handy or a heavier spoon. Another school. Some of these guys look kind of big. Got one of them. and try to get another one. Here comes another school. This is why I like fishing for these guys. Got him. <laughs> Okay, so I'm starting to have a hard time getting these guys to commit. Um, and then they're coming and going real quick. So what I think I'm going to do is put some iFish Pros right in this little area with some minnows down. I don't know if they're going to eat them, but it should keep them around at least. <laughs> Got that guy. Sampled it. I got a huge school just hanging out below me finally. <laughs> So I trailed a bunch of holes and I, I found this one school. It's dead center between two of my other holes. Every time I drilled on top of fish today, they seem to move. But uh, this is dead center on them. They could be a pile of perch here. Because perch do that. You can drill right over the top of them if they're not pressured. Oh, yep. Here comes a bunch of fish. Let's see what they are. And catch one of these guys, figure out what this school is. Oh. Felt bigger. Feels good, whatever it is. 
biting pretty hard. Oh. First time I got on a school of these guys and they didn't move. Let's see how many we can get out of it. This is what I've been looking for all day is to try and get on a school like that. Hopefully you guys can see them. I switched up my... So I started with like a... I think I had a Swedish pimple and that was working for a little while for the bigger yellow bass. Um, I switched it to a custom jigs and spins lightning spoon and a couple other spoons. Now I'm on a... I think it's a green and silver cast master. Um, but yeah, they wouldn't bite any other stuff, so really happy to see him attacking this thing. And the trick here is going to be staying above the school and getting these fish to come out of it. Kind of take one out. And uh, come back down without spooking them. Like that. You got one coming up for it. Kind of spooky. They don't want to leave the school. I mean, I don't blame them. I just ripped one of their buddies out of it. <laughs> Fresh bait. Man. Well, this guy feels good. <sighs> Head shakes out of a yellow bass. There we go. I need all of you to be that big. That looks like a big one. Maybe it's just two. Okay, another one. Another good one, it feels like. Good enough. So, you guys might wonder what I'm doing with all these. I've been smoking them and they turn out great. In case you guys skipped around in the video, I explained it at the beginning. Dude, this, this school is freaking fired up. <laughs> and this is why I fish for these guys. If you guys ever get a chance to go out and find yourself a lake with yellow bass in it, go fishing for them. Even if you don't keep them, they're just a blast. And anybody wondering, these are considered an invasive species in Wisconsin. So you can keep as many as you want. I think it's just because they're so prolific. They don't taste bad or anything, and they're not like carp or anything, um, but they just, they breed too much. So they take over bodies of water. That's why when you run into them, you usually can catch a couple hundred of them. Let's see how fast, just go down, bounce above their head. See if we can get somebody interested. Yep, I just missed him. <laughs> oh, I'm going to explain to you guys how I'm uh, kind of activating these guys in a second as soon as I get this guy in. Okay, I'm going to try and do this with uh, no bait real quick. So, like I said before, I'm going down, I'm trying to stay just above them, three to five feet. Uh, you don't want to be right in them, otherwise you spook them all. They like if you pull one out of the school. Um, 
and something you can do because these are flutter spoons is you can I'm trying to let it flutter down to them and then as soon as I see one notice it so you just got to pay attention to the whole school kind of okay I'm gonna stop it two three feet above them one of them notices it and I'm gonna take it away like it's a fleeing minnow Kind of bounce it in place. There. So get it up away from them. Get like two, three of them interested. When they're competing for it, you just you're gonna kind of shake it and bounce it in place. You need a nice firm rod for it. This is actually my walleye rod, but it works really good for um, having a nice firm tip. And uh, yeah, just get them interested. And even without bait, when they're when they're fired up, they'll just go. left might have had a reason to leave <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 I think I have 8 more by my sled yeah so like 20 something fish I don't know if I want to clean anymore okay guys so you seen it uh, yellow bass smash hit that like button if you like yellow bass fishing or if you've never even done this it's just something I really want everybody to try. Um, do some research, figure out what lakes have yellow bass in them. And a big thing with yellow bass is in the state of Wisconsin, they're basically invasive everywhere they are. Um, so you can keep as many as you want. Uh, one thing, learn how to clean them good. They taste like bluegills. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it was a beautiful day today. I, uh, <laughs> I had the whole lake basically to myself. And... Uh, that's why I kept coming back here. If you guys were wondering why I just kept coming and checking the ice here is because these yellow bass are all like five to six inches or I are all six to ten inches and uh, yeah, they work great for smoking. I love them. I've got a whole fridge full of them right now. So that's why I'm actually, I'm going to put these guys in my freezer because I actually just smoked, I don't know, I think I smoked like six pounds of them or something like that. Uh, if you, like I said, if you guys haven't seen that, uh, go check out the DWS Cooks Everything channel. Um, I'll have it linked below and linked everywhere else on the channel. But yeah, I've been cooking and stuff like that and putting them up on there. So go subscribe to that if you guys want that one to grow. Um, or if you just like good food, because that's why I made it. I want to help everybody make some good food. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Like I said before, hit that like button if you like this kind of stuff. See you guys next time.